with concerted action and with clarity of purpose, there is no limit to what we can do. Too many national governments are still dragging their feet, refusing to commit to the policies, to the regulation. What strategy do you have to make sure that the population gets on board with the green transition? The small minority who denied COVID exists, who are conspiracy theorists, who are climate change deniers, they're a waste of time. They're never going to be persuaded. It's not an interview. What are the consequences going to be? Katie Davis Court reporting for Rebel News. It is day two of the C40 World Mayor Summit here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and mayors from across the globe have officially arrived. Now, if you have not been following our reporting since we got on the ground here in Argentina, mayors from across the globe have entered into a pact called the C40 Cities, where they plan to implement the same climate policies to drastically reduce carbon emissions in the future. Now, they cannot achieve their goals without a significant power grab on the people and in doing so they want to reduce your ability to purchase clothing have no meat no dairy that is what the future of the world looks like in these cities so if you disagree and would like to fight back go to seat40summit.com where you can sign the petition and also donate to rebel news and help us offset our travel costs so we can continue coming to events like this across the world and bringing the other side of the story to you guys which is crucial considering that this is the biggest global power grab in recent history. Like I said, they cannot continue their agenda without a significant power grab. So today we attended a press conference featuring mayors from the United States, the United Kingdom, South Africa, and the Philippines. And we asked them questions about how they plan to control the population into getting on board with their transition into a green economy or a one world order. Now, it is quite apparent after watching the citizen from across the world respond to the COVID lockdowns that not everyone will be on board with the policies set forth by the C40 cities. So what strategy do you have to make sure that the population gets on board with the green transition? When you want to introduce a climate action plan, you, you need resources. But especially from developing countries, uh, we don't have the necessary finance available. But like we said, there are other innovative strategies that you can follow. For example, as mayor of the city of Chuane, once a month, I've got a campaign which we branded with a fancy name called Chualopele. And we encourage communities all across Chuane to get involved in taking care of their environment. Well, in our case, in Quezon City, um, we, we have a very participatory kind of government. So um, just two weeks ago, in fact, we sponsored a business summit, which is one of many that we always have, wherein we, all, we inform the business sector about latest developments and plans of the city. And this particular summit was um, directed at uh, the climate emergency because we had declared a climate emergency way back in 2019 which then enabled me as the mayor to start mobilizing resources not just from the city government the national government uh, but also from the business sector okay can i can i i'll, I'll deal with that question can i deal with um, uh, katie's question uh, as well in relation to um uh, the links with covid and climate change look uh, i think there are basically three groups of people, uh, and it's linked with COVID. There were those who were COVID deniers, conspiracy theorists, and a lot of them are climate change deniers. You've got a lot of people who understood what's happening with COVID, understand what's happening with climate change, took out the vaccines, want to tackle climate change. And there's a lot of people in the middle who aren't sure, and so they need persuading. And uh, what we have to do as politicians is to almost be like teachers, work with the experts to explain, just like we do with the pandemic, uh, which led to many lives being saved, including in Argentina with the great rollout of the vaccines uh, and in Buenos Aires, explain climate change. So in the UK, the 12 hottest periods in the history since records began have been since 2013. How do you explain 40 degrees Celsius in London, where normally, if we're lucky, we get 24 degrees. How do you explain 
China this year having the uh, most extreme heat waves since records uh, began. Uh, Meloretta was telling me some of the temperatures you had here in the recent past. How do you explain that? How do you explain the, the, the fires we've seen across Western Europe and Australia and USA? How do you explain the flooding we have uh, seen? Uh, what's your response to 99% of the scientists who explain the links between uh, fossil fuels, carbon emissions, and uh, climate change. And frankly speaking, the small minority who denied COVID exists, who are conspiracy theorists, who are climate change deniers, they're a waste of time. They're never going to be persuaded. But the middle group may listen to them and believe their nonsense. So we as politicians have got to work with the experts to explain what is happening and, have, and, have, uh, and, and, you know, and use the opportunity created by the crisis to give hope and provide the solutions we're uh, providing. It's really important we, we do that. I think, I think lazy politicians play on people's fears and win elections. Good politicians address people's fears and find solutions. And we've got to be those good politicians uh, addressing people's uh, fears. What consequences are there going to be for people that don't abide by the climate green transition? It's not an interview. What are the consequences going to be? As you can see, my coworker Lincoln Jay and I were immediately blocked by security, but this just goes to show that we are the only ones here challenging these politicians and providing the other side of the story. This global takeover is coming to you. During the press conference, my colleague Lincoln Jay also had the opportunity to ask the mayor of Phoenix, Arizona in the United States a question, so let's check that out. Lincoln Jay, Rebel News. Okay. We've seen after the COVID response that not everybody's going to comply with the transition. What potential consequences are there going to be for people who do not comply with the rules surrounding the green energy transition? So we are very hopeful that people will see the real life impacts. In my community, drought and heat are very important impacts. Others, it is fire and floods. Uh, we now see most people in my community believe they are personally impacted by climate change and that gives us the ability to move forward on climate action. This is a real and present challenge. If you believe that it is crucial for Rebel News to be on the ground at the events covering the other side of the story, please support us at C40Summit.com so we can continue our efforts across the globe. Thank you guys. Again, that is C40Summit.com. Thanks so much for watching us. You can sign the petition at c40summit.com. No meat-free cities. If you do not think that you're going to be affected by this global power grab, you are mistaken because it is coming to a city near you in the future very, very soon. So again, that is c40summit.com. Thank you guys.